Let's talk about how to make a dried orange garland today. Hello, I am Morgan. I make videos about decor and DIY, and I think that you should subscribe and hang around and be my friend. That would make me happy. Dried orange garlands are great because if you do them correctly, they can last for about three years. So the first supply you're gonna need is oranges. The news that gripped a nation, I know. I got a five pound bag, but honestly, I wish I had picked up two five pound bags. I think that would have made my garland look even more full. The next thing I'm gonna do is slice the end off of each individual orange. I don't think that circles really have ends, just like they don't have corners, but you know what I mean. Just pick what you think is the end and then cut each piece as thin as you possibly can. They'll be a little misshapen and that's okay, but just aim for as thin as possible. Once your orange slices are looking absolutely emoji perfect, you're gonna wanna get a cookie sheet, preferably one like this that has one of those little wire racks on it. That way it's not sitting directly on the cookie sheet and you're getting airflow on both sides of your orange slices. In order to help the baking process go as quickly and as smoothly as possible, get out as much juice from those oranges as you can with a paper towel. Then the next step is just to bake them in the oven at 200 degrees for this is what they don't tell you. You're gonna to wanna to free up a whole day to do this because for me, it took about eight hours to bake these orange slices. Of course, this depends on the thickness, but you just wanna make sure that you bake it until there is no squish left and you hear this sound. I would recommend leaving your orange slices in for about three hours and then after that, check on them every 45 minutes since different ovens do cook differently. The supplies that you'll need for the next step are a sewing needle and then whatever kind of cord you want. I am using an elastic cord from Joann's, but you can use twine, you can use waxed cord, whatever you want. And then just threading it through the oranges, pushing each slice down and then threading another one. And they're very easy to adjust once you get them on the Christmas tree. So there are a ton of different ways you can personalize your orange garland. You actually don't have to make it a garland at all. You can just lay them in a bowl like potpourri. I've seen people string cinnamon along their garlands to make it smell even better. Here's how I use mine just on my Christmas tree. And I think it's so beautiful. Here are some more examples I grabbed from Pinterest. This one looks beautiful on the mantle. The next one is a wreath, which I thought was so creative. I'd never seen that before. Then this last one they are using on a garland on their stairs. So there are a ton of possibilities. I hope you enjoyed this. If you make your own orange garland, I would love to see it. And I hope to see you in the next video.